Welcome back to Nazareto's channel and in this episode we're going to be installing the uh, TRD or you can call them Gator grill lights on this RAV4. These are the lights, they're smoked color and they just plug in and clip inside the grill. Very easy installation so let me show you how I do it. So I got four of these lights, they're going to fit here, one, two, three, four. So I just push them like this and you just clip them in. So in this package, when I open it, I have four lights, three, four lights. There's some zip ties, cables, and this is for a fuse. And this part taps into your fuse box. Everything is here, very easy to install. Everything clips and in, into place, plug and play. This product also came from cartrimhome.com. Link will be in the description. Uh, let's unzip this, untie this. Pretty long cable. And the way you connect this, once you install the light, everything clips in. You see like this one, this connector has a clip on the top and this one has a little notch here. So all it is, just push it into place and that's it. What you do is just align this connector, click it and that's it. You will not, uh, you will not mix the, which way to put it, it only goes one way. And this little top thing on the top has to clip into place. So once you install this light into the grill, you connect these cables, one, this plugs in into each of the lights so very easy let's first step let's open the hood and show you what we need to do first before we do anything we have to remove these clips there's one two uh you gotta remove this bolt three four five and then this bolt now i see some people remove this latch but i don't think it's necessary we're just gonna lift this up and reach with my hand to connect all these cables so let's remove these pins first there's one, there's another one, there's this one, very easy to remove these clips, and then there's two more, okay. And we've got to remove these bolts. To remove these bolts, you need size 10 uh, socket. Okay, the last bolt is out. And let's see if we can move this panel up. Now on this side, I have access. You see, I just lift it up. And on this side, I can put my hand there, let's see. But this part is blocking, this latch is blocking. Uh, so I cannot get this plastic trim out of the way. So I have to most likely remove this latch. And there's only three bolts. There's one, there's two, and then three. You can also bend this piece out of the way and it actually comes out. You don't have to remove the latch right here. You don't want to. This to just kind of like just push it back and bend it and it will come out out of the way. So now we have access over here. So we're going to connect the cables. You have complete access. Very easy. So yeah, don't even have to remove this three bolts. It was much easier to take this thing out, like by pulling it out. But when you try to push it back, it's kind of hard. So yes, it is a good idea to remove these bolts. One, two, three, and move the latch out of the way. Still need 10 millimeter socket. Remove this one. Remove this one. Unscrew it. And 
and then there's a bottom one right there so the screws are removed take your latch put it on the side right here and let's install the lights now this part is very easy just take this light oh, let's see which one push it in here and clip it into place there's one there's a second one goes into the second hole two let's see three very easy just clips into place and then there's a four you don't need any glue nothing at all it just nicely clips into place this is how it looks on the inside see the bottom and the top clipped into place they're not going anywhere you don't need any crazy glue or anything perfect fit now we're gonna connect these connector pieces I'm gonna plug them in you see this cable is very long it will reach all the way down to a fuse box and the connection will be very easy because you can only connect it one way so let's start with this one make sure the cable go underneath here so it will be hidden let's plug it in to this one first where is it there's one here you do just align it the top pin and this hole and just push it in and it's gonna click into place same thing we do for the second light i don't know if you hear the click but it's clicks into place you can only put it one way click and we're done there's two more one and then we have this last one but i'm gonna guide this cable go underneath guiding my cable under this bracket see all the way underneath here goes on the other side and just pull it connect this last light it's supposed to click but i'm doing it with one hand you can take these zip ties and use them to zip tie the cables but before i do that i want to make sure these lights work so i'm going to connect the uh, uh, lights into the fuse box and to the ground so let's do that so nice this uh, car trim home in, uh, they provide with this like a uh, shrink wrap when you connect this cable to the uh, positive to the fuel box and to the fuse box this will shrink wrap it so you don't have to use the tape you can just use this so when you use your uh, lighter you actually heat up this piece and there's a piece of lead that fuses these cables together so this is done i already did that with a lighter all right let's connect it to the fuse box so this is how you open the fuse box push over here on this button on this clip right here and right here and the cover is off we also have our fuse removal tip um, if you want to tap in into the fuse let's find out which one is which one is what now this one it says usb1 uh, 7.51 so this would be one two three this is the one we want right there 7.5 that fuse is for usb1 we can tap into that negative cable we can do we can connect it here right here since this is a frame we can ground it and let's tighten that up take the fuse box cover off you see this line and this one and this one this it says usb 7.5 which is this one 7.5 you have to remove it and let's do that but make sure you have this little piece to remove it it's like a little gator clip pull it up 
All right. The only thing is this fuse is a little bit too small. It doesn't fit in there, the 7.5. So I got a different one. I have this 7.5 like this with these longer le le legs, I would say. We're gonna tap this one into place like so. And now, see it's sitting there nicely. And now we're just gonna plug this whole piece into there. like this so we're done here with a fuse box very easy just uh, you have to hide this cables now but I see some people like drill holes in here I don't like it first of all I don't want to drill anything I want to make sure I like these lights I'm just gonna hide this cable but you do have to close your fuse box make sure you don't lose this tip Put this extra fuse that we have, put it back into place. And make sure the fuse box is closed. Click here. This cable is kind of on the side here, hanging here like this. You can guide it, you can put a zip tie here and just tie, uh, uh, guide it anywhere you want. But first I want to make sure these lights work and they're clipped in properly, nothing is moving. Nothing is moving. Now let's turn on the car power and see if it works. And then we'll figure out these wires and we'll put it all back together. So the lights work and I don't want to close the hood because the latch is still um, not mounted. But the lights look good. I like the smoky color. They're not too bright. They're perfect, you know, look nice. So every time you start your car, these lights turn on. Looks like a TRD or gator lights. I don't know what you call them properly. Link will be in the description. Uh, but now let's put this back together, all this stuff. I'm gonna guide this cable. I'm gonna install this latch, do it everything in the reverse. But you see how simple it is. Just tap it in, connect here to the negative and you're good. I see some people also connected to over here to the frame. It doesn't matter. As long as it's connected to the frame, it's all good. And since we know the lights work, now we can take those zip ties and take these cables and just kind of put them together and zip them, zip tie them. I'm going to start like right here. Zip tie it like right here. See, one zip tie here, and I'm gonna get all these cables together here, put another zip tie, and we're gonna zip tie to this hole right there, so the cables are out of the way, not moving. Also zip tie these cables here. You can put them like right there, or you can take a longer zip tie, you know, and zip tie it to this frame. Use your imagination, but I'm just doing it temporarily because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these lights, but so far they look cool. Get these cables out of the way and let's put this plastic all back take your plastic trim make sure it slides under here and under here you gotta lift it up here same thing here slides in there you go we can put these clips into place one two three four five and then the latch there's a first plastic piece there's a uh, no this one fell down the second one there's a third one and then this one a lot of spare clips like this so <laughs> brand new i have the whole box of these i'm just gonna Instead of reaching out for one, I'm just going to get the new one. There you go. And these two bolts and then the uh, latch. Very easy job. And I think it gives your car a little character in the grill. That's it. You don't have to do it too crazy tight. There's one more. Okay, the latch is almost secured. Good. This one in. Now, 
the secret is if you want to secure this bolt you want to tighten it up use a tape on the bottom of your you know uh, on the bottom of your socket and then you can just put the bolt on the other side and just start tightening it up so I had to use a tape and now I'm just gonna tighten it up and we're done here I have an extra long zip tie I'm just gonna zip tie this bundle into here and that's it that's it and like I said I'm not drilling the hole into this uh, box because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these slides uh, so far I like it but I don't want to drill any holes here this uh, closes nicely uh, I mean the cable does go underneath here but still it closes nicely so um, we can close the hood now all right guys the lights are installed no glue was required nothing they just clip in place look very nice I like that they look kind of dark like this not like a bright yellow plastic and let's turn them on very bright outside you can still see this see them looks very nice I actually like it so every time you start your car the lights these TRD lights or gator lights or whatever you, you call them they light up and uh, you see on the on the bottom the cables are hidden I zip tie them it looks perfect so thanks uh, cartrimhome.com the link will be in the description they look amazing and even if in such a bright day you can still see these lights This is how our vehicle looks at night. So you let me know what do you think? Put the comments below. And if you put a thumbs up and some positive comment with your email, I will choose randomly who's going to win these lights and I'll ship it to you. Thank you guys and girls for watching Nazareto's channel. I hope you liked this episode. I hope it was helpful. And you can easily upgrade your RAV4 with such a little upgrades like this one. It makes your car stand out. Uh, link will be in the description for the product. Hit the thumbs like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.